Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back. We took a small break, but to recap for all of you guys just joining us, we just had our first match for a best of one from groups. We had NMG Celeste versus Beckins Plus. Um, what seemed like a steaming start for NMG, uh, after a pause, Beckins was able to get back into the group. They secured four points on defense, but it was NMG's attack that solidified that first map for them. Um, who were some players that you guys want to sh uh, highlight for that first map? Let's start off with you, Bi Spicy. Starting off with me, um, I would say <laughs> to highlight for that first map, uh, on the side of Beckins, I would highlight Puro had some really great entry power on that jet pick as well as, you know, getting some early first floods, being able to dash away afterwards. So uh, opened up a lot of space for Beckins, whether it was on the retake or on attack. Um, but like you said, uh, 13 to 4 in, the, in NMG Celeste's favor. And there's a lot to highlight on NMG Celeste, to be completely honest with you. I mean, Aerie did a really good job at holding down the B site. Um, I also really want to commend May and Fad specifically for working together pretty frequently um, to get early picks on the defensive side, uh, especially when May was trying to push through the kitchen tube with the operator. Uh, you always had Fad backing her up with that owl drone just to get that extra information for May to clear things out to ensure, you know, a nice clean peek. Um, and to make sure that it wasn't a dry peak either um, on the side of May. So very well done on their part with that synergy. Um, but yeah, Gompers, anybody you want to shout out? I just wanted to shout out Wendy for the rain of play that they had when they ran out of the bullets in their Vandal. They ended up resorting <laughs> literally a millisecond away from the defusal, had to pull out the classic, got the two tap and ended up clutching the round. I don't even know how that happened. That was like one of the wildest moments that I've seen thus far in any single cast, but it was definitely a good one. Shout out to Wendy for that fast reflection time, but we're moving on <laughs> folks. It's going to be definitely not Serenity Purple, but like they are Serenity Purple. I, I, yeah, that's what we're <laughs> gonna get here. And we're gonna have W Way Warriors. By the way, that name, we had a little bit of a discussion offline and we were like, wait, is it W Keyboard? No, they're W Way Warriors. Um, just to make sure, there are some folks from uh, Dang I Love Frogs, uh, part of this team. So I feel like we're gonna see some very spicy gameplay. The map that we're gonna be going to, ladies, is going to be Ascent. What team composition do we want to see from either one of these teams? Let's start off with you, Gompers. Ascent? I mean, an Astra's pretty normal type of composition. You could do a double controller Astra, you know, Viper. Um, it really kind of just all depends on the play style. If you're more aggressive, uh, whether it be defense and you feel more comfortable putting yourself in that position, then maybe having that Astra and trying to go for that chamber as that Sentinel util. But if you want to play a little bit more far back, you can, you can have that Killjoy. You can wait, you know, on those plays and play off your util. What about you, Spicy? I would say <laughs> the staple picks for Ascent are usually going to be, you know, your Sova and your Ray's pick, especially to hold down the B site. Uh, we could be seeing like a double duelist setup coming out on the side uh, on either of these teams. I mean, WA Warriors is a puggy team, so we don't really have a lot of information of the agent picks that we're going to see coming out or the team composition. Um, I know that for Defna SRN, uh, we did see them playing in Sakura Cup uh, recently as well. So they actually were out in round 16 of Sakura Cup. So in the playoffs, they lost one to two versus Ari's Money Crew. Um, but uh, I, I mean, we did see Soul playing that Astra and the Viper. Kelly, usually that Soba main as well. So that would be expected. Resora, typically a jet main. So the jet op can be quite powerful on set, especially when watching mid watching that long cat angle. Um, and then, I mean, we are gonna throw it, I think, pretty quickly into Agent Select here, uh, cute new, but anything you want to say before we got going? Well, this is definitely going to have to be a win for 
Definitely not Serenity due to the fact that they are down already one. Uh, if they lose this one, it's going to put them at a 2-0, which already is putting them at a very uh, unfortunate position. But just like you said, Gomber, uh, Spicy, let's get right into the agent slide. Yeah, I mean, Gompers, like Cute Noob just mentioned, Defna SRN did lose earlier in the first round of group stages to Unbind Crouch 0 and 1. And then you actually have WA Warriors who are 1 and 0 so far in groups uh, where they were able to take a map against EQ Scarlet. And going straight into things here, we are going to see these compositions coming out actually mirror comps coming out on both sides not going to see any raises this time around it's just going to be jet being that lone duelist both teams electing for the double initiator this time around instead and i really really like the ko picks on ascent i mean the map is really small uh, you can clear out those closer angles with the zero point as well just to get that information if anybody's playing lane on b or if anyone's playing those close angles on a site and we are going to see starting out it's gonna be death not srn on the defense first Mm -hmm. And we're seeing the Killjoy peg, which, I mean, could signify anything, uh, but I, I really do like the KO. It could definitely help, you know, detain, not detain players, but kind of not allow them to use their utility. So maybe when you want to get that entry onto site, you can, you can get that early information and you can get that free entry, not having those smokes, you know, be used, depending on where the Astra is. I mean, Astra can literally be anywhere on the map and give you those smokes. So, yeah, you know, it, it's all a playing field. Absolutely. Look at this aggression, though, that Fifi's already taken here in A main. We see mm -hmm. W just holding back, waiting for this push, actually. Oh, the timing! Oh, and right there, I mean, everybody's basically already getting taken out on the side. Oh. Oh, no. And it's a not, it's definitely not Serenity. The, the name's going to confuse me a little bit, because it's not Serenity. It, it, maybe. No, it's definitely not, but... You know, Serenity, not Serenity, having a really good time, kind of keeping the site to themselves. It's Juna by themselves, trying to take out a couple. Unfortunately, not going to be able to. That's going to be a buy round in the next round for definitely not Serenity. I also want to point out, I believe this is one of the first tournaments that Juna 4 has actually come back in since <laughs> yeah. leaving MILFs. Or not since leaving, man, I love Fwogs, I should be saying. Um, but yeah, because Juna 4 used to be a staple on the Man I Love Vlogs team back in 2021 before stepping down to a management position. And now she works, you know, uh, with Pittsburgh Knights as well mm -hmm. with that event coordination. So making her debut back on a pug team, I think is going to be really fun to see Juna kind of bring back the roots that she came from. Uh, when she was competing back with Man I Love Vlogs and maybe a slower pick. Oh, what a, what a flank Ooh. onto Zoe from Lana. Oh, and having Zoe down, Kelly though, is going to be able to take out Lana. That was a good pick, you know, initially, just because now it's a 4v4. You, you got out the kill drill. You don't have to worry about that utility B. So, I mean, WE Warriors could definitely go over two. Be sight now that knowing that Hydril Util isn't going to be any of harm. No, oh, and just a slow eco coming out from the side of W Way Warriors. I do really like the slow eco though, considering the fact that you know when you are facing up against the other teams by round on round two when they won the pistol, playing that slow default, trying to get a pick out and a gun out of their hands. It's definitely the way to go, but now that clock is ticking down, we are going to see this push onto a site and a huge. Uh... Ooh. I, I mean, they tried to get the entry in. Fifi had the molly. It worked out perfectly. Now, I mean, Jenny Kim is low. The moment they peek, it's a one tap and it's gone. Yoja trying to kind of hold this cross hole. They have 13 seconds. They can't save the pistols. They're waiting for Kaya to get this flank in. Kaya's gonna rush through. Try to get one soul, not knowing that Kaya was right there. Now it's four seconds left. Unbelievable. Only having a little bit of health. It's gonna be Kelly by themselves on the side of definitely not Serenity. And all they can really play off of is trying oh. to get that down. Although you can see, Ash, the health is low. Kelly's the only one with full health. Kelly has to be very cautious of the corners that they're peeking, and it's going to be one for Kelly, the 3k down, a 2-0. and 
Definitely. Uh, uh, oh my god. I mean, it, WA Warriors almost being able to convert that round. However, still a huge round for them regardless. You know, being able to actually get that spike planted and take four of those weapons out of the hands of Death Knot SRN is massive for WA Warriors and putting a dent into the economy, making mm -hmm. this round uh, the third round where WA will be able to buy up on these rifles. Uh, even more difficult for Death Knot SRN to contest considering the fact that they no longer have these SMGs in hand for the most part. And now it's going to be a B-heavy default. We're actually going to see WA looking to contest this mid-control here. The Owl Drone is going to clear out the close arches. Not low to the ground though, so not going to actually spot out this alarm bot, which will be popped and force the Tailwind out from Lana. Oh, and Kalki had a really nice flank along, although just going to be taken out. I like the aggression coming through. You can see everybody on the side of not Serenity coming around through mid. They were going to get aggressive. They were hoping that maybe, you know, WA Warriors would go over towards A, but they, they just ended up not going that way. Spike planted. Ooh, nope. And however, Zoe able to pick up a Vandal for herself here. I'm... Questioning whether, yeah, I think the market players are just waiting for the garage players to push in. Rosora is going to make a little bit of sound though, giving away that location. And here we actually have Yoja all the way pushed into CT already. Oh, and I, I like the way that they're playing oh. together. You can see Lana pushing up as the pressure comes through. They know Lana's there now. Lana's not going to aggress anymore, knowing that it's dangerous, but Jenny is going to have the upper hand with the aim. That was a really nice positioning for Yoja, though. I mean, it gives a lot of information over to WA, being able to have that CT control, knowing that the retake is going to be coming from market and most mm -hmm. likely a flank through garage. Now, going into the fourth round, no ultimates online quite yet. However, it's going to be the most even round so far. Rezora actually glass cannon with the op this time around. I would like to see that alt orb investment here, a main going into Yoja if possible to get that cosmic divide online. However, with that one way, it looks like Death Not SRN is going to be looking to take this AMA control for themselves, denying that alt orb for now. So it has the op, gonna be able to get one, unfortunately not. Lana was not expecting it, although the yellow drone's gonna be able to take up soul here. That's gonna have to push back. They can't hold that aggressive angle anymore. That early pick is not going to be definitely not Serenity's. Now WA Warriors has a, a better chance here. Do you like that WA Warriors is actually disciplined there in AMA, not actually swinging off of that tag onto mm -hmm. soul, considering the fact that they, you know, the past few rounds they know that Yoja and Juno like to push or not uh, I mean Sol and Fifi like to push up together there in a main so not taking the bait to get caught into that double swing kind of crossfire and now repositioning themselves back towards B that alarm bot is going to spot out the players in market here 40 seconds left on the clock it's going to be an execution the execution onto site is taking some time. They know Killjoy's there. They can hear the util. One right there. They're trying to force their way through. Kelki trying to use some shock darts to gather some damage. It's going to be Yosha just pushing in, not really caring about much. WA Warriors W king it down onto the site. The Cosmic Divide is going to help for some time to be eliminated, you know, so that the spike can kind of allow itself to get detonated, but the retake has to come through here. Retake is gonna have to come through Soul. No stars available on this retake either, so none of that Astra Util will be able to be used this time around. And mm -hmm. ooh, the wall is about to drop here, Gompers. Oh, as the wall drops, the spike gets faster. Now the pressure is on. They're no! hearing the beeps go faster and faster. Soul trying to take it, and Fifi being able to get the trade offs. It's Resora by themselves with just the operator. They're not going to try to aggress and push for this. That's 4,700 credits. They don't want to give up just yet. Not just yet. And what's nice is actually, you know, even though uh, Def Not SRN wasn't able to secure that round for themselves, it would be interesting to see actually. 
Well, I was gonna say Resora could drop the Operator to somebody else, but they are that dedicated jet op, uh, considering the fact that they do have their Eco Ultimate available, that Blade Storm is online. But, you know, when you have a force like Resora on the Operator, I guess you don't want to trade that position for somebody else and rely on them for the sniper picks. And here is going to be a save round coming out for not SRN. That zero point is going to get a little bit of information. Deny the owl drone from Jenny Kim here. And a quick rotation is actually already being called on the side of SRN. You can see the drones coming through and Lana's already pushing in. The moment that drone comes out, it's an aggressive, aggressive take here for WA Warriors. And right there, the Hunter's Fury. Kelki's trying to get one, able to get some damage through, although the plant is going to be committed. Now it's the retake that has to come through. They're gonna. I, I enjoy how they play for the retake, although, you know, it, it, the situation at hand is, is it going to be viable every single round? Are they going to be able to get it? Because we still do have that lockdown in right there. Another Hunter's Fury from Jenny Kim, able to get two, tagging some players down. And right there it is. The Operator is not going to be something you want to be playing with in this moment in time to save last round. A save possibly coming this round. Oh. So he's going to whiff, though. A three... A three to two here. Three to two. It's pretty neck and neck so far. WA actually, since getting those rifles in hand, have stolen the momentum for themselves. And now we are going to see rifles back in the hands of not SRN. Fifi has that no command available for the retake or to deny the site plant. And looks like it's going to be a push towards B this time around with Yoja kind of lurking over towards the A site, having that worldwide vision for the smokes on the side of a W way. That recon though is going to get quite a bit of information here in B link. And that's going to slow down the pacing a little bit. But Aldron is actually expended quite early on the side of Kelly, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And Lana's pushing up. Trying to see if they can get something else. And it, it's the continuous operator buys that, you know, that are questionable a little bit to me. Just just because, you know, in the previous rounds... Actually, I, I'm so sorry. I'm talking about the defensive side. Definitely not Serenity was the one that tried to continuously save that operator. But it's going to be Lana bringing it out this time around as they had it from the last round. They're not able to get one just yet, but they're aggressing. They're pushing up. They're not afraid. It's going to be Kaya allowing that aggression to come through from Lana. But the operator down in the hands of Jenny. Are they going to pick it up? Or are they going to try to go for this pick? That's the question. And it's going to be one. Although, it, it's a 4v3 here. 4v3, a lot of mid-control also taken already on the side of WA. Make that a 3v3. But Jenny, stuck in a precarious position. Left. Oh, oh, the timing! And the no. wide swing! Oh, they that didn't position! Peak. It was the same corners that was peaked, and unfortunately, it didn't work out. Right there, Fifi is just going to completely feed off of that. Even though the, the double wide swing came through, she knows the rotation is coming along. They're going over towards A, but 11 seconds left. They have to get the spike down. Fifi's trying to work their way up. Yeah, I mean, both null commands are also available on both sides here. Fifi going to make a run for heaven. I don't think we're going to see the null command actually coming out quite yet and i'm actually surprised to see wa they're playing really split up right now when the suppressions are coming through if he knows there's probably somebody down jenny maybe possibly hell and it's gonna be hell juna being taken out not juna being taken out Fifi being taken out but that was a really great round coming out from wa warriors i mean they're really leading the way here absolutely now we are going to see the timeout coming on the side of not SRN. Three ultimates online for both teams here. It's going to be an eco round for not SRN this time around. Brazora likely going to pop that bleed storm pretty early on. We also have Soul and Fifi with their ultimates as well. Zoe close to the lockdown of her own here too. And mm -hmm. it would actually be nice to see maybe some alt or investment going into Kelly if not SRN is able to find any map control for themselves, whether in garage or a main on this eco, considering the fact that, you know, helping Kelly get closer to that Hunter's Fury on the rifling ground would definitely assist in putting the odds of converting the next rifling round into their favor. 
But as I say that, they're all, there are also the nearly the same ultimates online on the side of WA here. Not likely to see them expended considering the fact that they are on this anti-eco going into things here, Gompers. But if things do go awry, they will have the ability to use those ultimates to ensure that the round is converted into their favor. However, the same thing could be said of a thrifty coming out from not SRN. We're gonna have to see it. I mean, WA Warriors has kind of just figured out, you know, what Ter not Serenity is doing. And it's leading them into this iteration of, of these constant wins. You know, the only situation at hand is now that this timeout has come through, are they able to realize what they're doing differently? I mean, right here, you can already see the aggression that we saw before. They're trying to push themselves up. The, I mean, Zoe's just waiting around. Nobody noticed. Unfortunately, Zoe's not going to be able to hit the shot. But, I mean, now it's just going to have to be a mid-take onto this retake. Ooh, definitely. It would actually be interesting to see not SRN playing maybe for exit frags here, considering the fact that it is a 4v5 on this retake in this post plant situation. WA is going to hear the door break in market here, but it looks like not SRN's pretty stalled out so far on this retake. Lana's waiting around, not trying to take an aggressive approach, although they're waiting in just the correct corner. Resora, though, is not going to waste any time. Although, the 1v1s were taken. Kaya's going to get the 2k down, and it's once again another round one for the attackers, WA Warriors here. I really would have liked to see, honestly, the exit frag play coming out instead mm -hmm. of going for the retake in that situation, considering the gun disadvantage. Um, you know, even if you can't get all the frags yourself, but being able to stall enough time so that the attackers are stuck on site when the spike has to explode can do a lot in putting a pin in your enemy's economy, but uh, that could be a strategy save for a future round. And now, Rifles are going to be seen across the board here. Three ultimates online on both sides. Both of those null commands still available, as well as two lockdowns from either team. And now SRN looking to get some garage aggression this time instead of going through A main. Oh, and they're double peeking. This guy is un unaware. I mean, the alarm bot definitely helped, but not knowing there's two there. That would have been risky. Lana, though, is just going to push through. Fifi's holding an aggressive angle. The only thing you can do right here is that we do have that KO ultimate that could help, you know, not allow WA Warriors to get onto the site. I like closing the market door there, actually, from .SRN, trying to cut off that additional angle uh, and map control that WA was able to gather for themselves. And now... It's going to be a posture back towards the B site, the lurk from Yoja being called back over towards B, as I'm sure we actually might see a lockdown coming out for this execute in this 4v4 situation. The recon is going to seek to get some information. I'm waiting for the perfect time here. They're getting ready to get an, a really aggressive take onto the site, and I'm unsure if Fifi's going to be using that ultimate. Yep, it's going to come through. If he's just waiting now for the peaks, no smokes can be utilized here, so it's going to be harder for WA Warriors to get themselves onto the site. All they can do is try to win these battles, although it's going to be Serenity, not Serenity, being able to win these fights. 13 seconds left on the clock, and everybody is eliminated. That's a really nice staggering of util that we saw coming out from Not Serenity. I like the patience, actually, that we saw from them, waiting for that null command to be popped at the ideal time, waiting to hear that cue from the recon bolt that came out of the hands of Jenny Kim in that round. And now, two, what, an alt each expended on both sides in that previous round, leaving us with two others to play with going into round nine. Cosmic Divide still available in Soul's hands, as well as that lockdown for the retake on the side of SRN. A deadly combination that you can see time and time again coming out from teams, considering the fact that that Cosmic Divide gives just a free wall that, and a not wall bangable position for that lockdown to be thrown in. Mm -hmm. Oh, they might be able, they don't know. They don't know that they're in the corner. Fifi created a distraction. That's going to allow Resort to have a little bit of leeway there, but. Still some suspicion. Resort has to back off. The shock darts weren't doing any help. Mm. Yeah. Now, we actually see the spike leaning over towards the A site. 
No stars are actually placed down on the side of not SRN right now for that A main choke point, and Lana has been able to cross with the help of that cloud burst into the other side of tree. And it's still just a standard default hold now spread apart through four players on the side of not SRN. And as I say that, make that a 4v4, as it looks like WA is looking to blitz onto A. They already have the site. Although one flash left from Juna. Right now, the only thing you can do is try to at least position yourselves differently. Zoe still does have this ultimate. This lockdown might be used. You can see the turret being set up, preparing themselves possibly, trying to get some information here. Although a lot of people here have ultimates that they can use. We still have the Hunter's Fury right there. Jenny's going to use it, take out this lockdown as the aggression comes forth and the retake restore it takes one but it's just gonna have to be a 2v2 here kelki knowing that this defusal's coming although having to take out jenny kim Je all you have to do is just get the one tap through and it's gonna work out extremely well for wa warriors jenny kim is having a game that is all i'm saying i mean 12 <laughs> and 4 right now jenny the only one with double digits so far in the server, and now we are going to see a save coming out on the side of SR, not SRN. Once again, Soul is actually electing to buy up with the Vandal here, looking to be a bit of a hero gun for their team this time around. And ooh, I mean, Kelly, two away from the Hunter's Fury once again. We also have Rosora, who is two away from the Blade Storm, but. Collecting to hold back play far back. Uh, I think it's interesting. We actually haven't seen much aggression on eco rounds coming out from not SRN so far, uh, which is typically a play that you do see sometimes on ecos, but instead just going with this tried and true default play instead. Yeah, I mean, having the site, you can see that the Tezo and Decide are actually extremely flawless just because, you know, not Serenity continues to take on the constant retakes here. Although it is also a save round, so it makes it a little bit harder to try to keep these sights. WA Warriors having the sight, I mean, flawlessly once again, not having to use those ultimates. The alarm bot being triggered, giving out that information that a flank was coming along. It, it's perfect. Yeah, looks like not SRN, just waiting for the repositioning to come through. Oh, but as I say that, <laughs> everybody on... I, I mean, we were waiting to see, you know, the repositioning coming through from uh, Seoul over back to Market. And as we were, you know, just setting up for that play, everybody started dropping like flies there. But again, I am begging not SRN to play for exit frags on Ecos when they are at that player disadvantage and gun disadvantage in those situations. I mean, that you get a lot more value playing to take guns out of the hands of your opponents and you do actually trying to force that retake to happen when you're already at a disadvantage. And now, once again, going for the A main aggression that we haven't seen not SRN take recently. Lana is gonna actually take this aggressive vertical angle here, just waiting for the nebula to dissipate. Oh, the drop. <laughs> not waiting on you. I mean, Lon is definitely feeling it. They don't oh. really care, but Fifi is in a very difficult position. Juna had the utility knowing that somebody was wine. Now that's going to allow this attacker, Killjoy Lockdown, to come through. There is still a Hunter's Fury that they could use. Kelki's not going to use it, though. They're not close enough to be able to use it. They're just going to have to push off of this and try to get the picks down. Necessary. And the Lockdown came down, but a ton of the players were eliminated. Although, it worked out very well. They pressured back Kaya. The lockdown's not going to be deemed worthy, but the flank is coming through here. And this is looking scary. Oh. Resora did get seen. Nice cloud burst to cover. Resora's backing up here mid. Kaya looking to isolate a 1v1 though now, Gompers. And the timing! Oh, the double back from Resora. The double oh, back, yeah. <laughs> I thought Resora was just going to turn her back there and get shot there by Kaya in that situation. But... Now we are going into round 12 of the half, which means if you're going to use your ultimates, you're going to use them now. Juna still holding on to that null command. Blade Storm's available on both sides here. However, it definitely looks like not SRN has the advantage as far as their alt economy so far. Zoe also won away from that lockdown. Should make a nice and easy either retake or sight hold 
on the side of not SRN as long as they're able to stagger their utility as effectively as they did in that one round on B with the null command and unfortunately Jenny's Jenny's recon's not gonna make it this time and gonna have to pull out the owl drone instead. Oh, no way! But Yoja? I, the name reminds me of Doja Cat. I don't know why. Yoja, Doja, yeah, it, it makes sense, but, you know, <laughs> it, I just made the, the analogy, but maybe, you know, I, I mean, it worked out in the end. The 2K came through. Yoja's yodeling along. Just has to get a couple more picks here. It's a 3v5, so, I mean, WA Warriors definitely has the upper hand. This is the last round. You know, if Serenity, not Serenity, wants to be able to get this round in their hands, they have to you know work their way oh, around here? be able to get this through but yeah i mean this is this is a very difficult position and look at this flank coming out from kaya gonna actually be able to catch out kelly here yeah good for one and now definitely looks like things are going in wa's favor Oversaur is going to dash up here. I love the aggressive play, but it's not going to work out. Yosha's going to be there. And Juna alongside Fifi being taken out. Unfortunate. That was that was an amazing play. I, I love seeing Switching stuff like sides. that. Yeah, it was a nice try from Rosoro trying to dash in. But unfortunately, Fifi just wasn't quick enough with the follow up to, you know, get that trade off. And now swapping sides. Mm -hmm. Eight to four here with WA Warriors holding the advantage so far. They definitely built up a lot of momentum for themselves, but now we are back on level playing grounds for round two of the group stages of Game Changers Academy here, Gompers mm. and Ooh, a site is looking pretty <laughs> scary, I'm not gonna lie. With all that Killjoy util, you have the Astro Star set down as well, ready to pull with the Gravity Well, ready to use that Nova Pulse to contest. And it looks like a lot of aggression actually might be sought out here on the side of WA. Oh, they're going up, man. They hear it. This is like playing tag with your friends, but there's so much util. I actually think this is perfect. You pressure back, you force them to want to get this take on to the site here. The drone comes through. They know that util's there, but there's still a lot of util that they haven't seen. They don't notice. The moment they peek through, it's going to be a gravity well and a ton of utility being used. Already the shock darts oh, coming through. Huge. The damage is impeccable for WA Warriors. And already on the start of this pistol round, you can already see that the util coming up for the defense for WA Warriors is going to be detrimental. No spike in hand either on not SRN right now. Oh no, and this is scary. Juna knows that there's somebody there. I'm loving the backup that's happening already. A 2v3. The gunfights were won here by WA Warriors, but there's still a long way to go. Lana being the only person with full health, they have to be able to play off of, uh, they have to be able to play off of Kaya, but Resora is gonna get the one here. That's genuinely what not SRN needed to open up this coming round. Things were not looking great considering the fact that WA had so much information in their hands on that pistol round, pushing out through mid, then clearing B main, uh, you know, just gets all the info that you need you can call to your team okay this definitely means that the majority if not all of uh not srn is clustered up in a main right now they had the stall available with the astra and killjoy utility and now not srn looking to move over towards the b site for this bonus round and looks like two shorties are actually just going to be hiding back boathouse but you know, not SRN suspicious. They set down those stars there. <laughs> oh no, the gravity well. <laughs> just, just down. They were just sitting there. I don't know what to say. That's so unfortunate. It was funny because I mean, then after the camera angle just got off of them, you just see their bodies <laughs> drop from like the corner of your eye. That was that was just unfortunate. Yeah, definitely a really good read coming out from not SRN. Just expecting the ratty shorties and now. That's a quick round two of Flawless, which is huge for not SRN, considering the fact that now SMGs were able to be salvaged across the board. A nice economy cushion is being built up and not SRN looking to tie things up. They're trying to say eight is all you get to WA. Eight is all you get? Will that be? Will that be true? That's the question. We're going to have to see. I mean, like we said before, the util for WA Warriors is immense. 
you know, you have to work your way around it. They didn't really have the economy to to fix that, but right here it's going to be Soul waiting around the corner, although unfortunately enough, just getting into the astral form in the wrong time. That slows the pacing a little bit. Nice cloud burst coming out as well. Now, look at this. Oh, the timing on this flank here, Gompers. Lana knows it. Lana knows that they couldn't hit it, unfortunately, but they end up getting one. It worked out pretty fine and dandy right here. That's WA Warriors making their way back. Unfortunately, Serenity's not going to get this round. Unless Kaya can be able to hit it, they hear it coming through. They're going to be able to play the corner, the angle. And right there, WA Warriors is going to take this round down. I definitely thought Kaya was done for considering her health bar there, but <laughs> able to clutch it up like you said, Gompers now. Six to nine, maybe I cast or curse that a little bit, saying oh, it'll all you get to WA because <laughs> I mean they are an impeccable team, especially for a pug team coming out playing against not SRN who have been playing together for a while now. We've seen this team play in Sakura and in in some previous oh, no. tournaments as well, oh, Gompers and Zoe. It's gonna have that lockdown available though for this for round four, I should say, on the attack of not SRN. I know that's going to be popped pretty early, actually. Yeah, they're just waiting now to play off of it. If they peek too early, it's going to be a really big upset here. But not Serenity is already making their way forth. Yoja doesn't know that there's somebody hiding in the corner. Although they're going to find out pretty quickly if they don't check it. Zoe's waiting for somebody to peek out aggressively. And this is a dangerous corner because majority of the time people don't peek it. Not only that, Kelly's trying to play off the contact here. Yeah, it's gonna be a 5v5 retake. Oh. oh, and a nasty shot from Lana. Oh, they're already trying to make their way. Yoja's gonna check the corner though. Zoe not paying attention. Kelly not being able to play off of that because the smoke very, very well oh, positioned. No. And it worked out well in their favor. Yoja's smoke completely saved the lives of them. I don't even know. I believe that was Yoja's smoke. That was, was a really nice retake though, Gombras. I mean, you know, it, I, I was losing track of what team I was talking about. WA, being able to actually play that retake from all angles, you know, taking market, taking CT, as well as garage, just trying to, uh, you know, eliminate any factor of, you know, either having that Killjoy or the Astra, Kaya, or I should say Zoe or Soul, you know, playing for that post-plant positioning in garage. And just, you know, eliminating that potential factor there was very well done on the side of WA Warriors. And now I'm going to go back to more of a default play. Leaning towards B, though, for sure, on the side of not SRN. It's going to be an eco round for them. Zoe is going to have that hero gun in hand. And Rosora has popped that blade storm, but now losing three knives, not connecting. Oh, the oh. resort peeking, able to get the one. Lana's operator no longer in their hands. And that's a nice pick. No longer having that jet op is going to be huge. Both jets gone. And now having to rely on mainly, you know, the sentinels and the initiators. And it's going to be that full rotation being called off on the side of not SRN as well. You know, they heard the Killjoy utility posted up more towards B. Got that information mid as well. And now A largely left open, especially that particular choke point. However, we do have two on the side of WA holding from tree here. That nebula gonna provide the cover though. Fifi looking to flash things out so far and Jenny's just trying to do some damage with those shock darts, but we actually, did you, do you see Soul actually pushing in through the door here? They're working their way. I, no, I don't think anybody knows that Soul is there. They closed oh. the oh, they closed the door. Soul yeah. thought that they could have gotten away with it, but it's Juna being a little bit more aware than what they thought. And Yoja's just gonna be able to get the three K down. That was an aggressive. That was an aggressive angle. I really like the way that played out. Although gonna be caught out. No, not the knife. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's brutal. That is tough. PP didn't really have an escape there playing Hell, especially after that lockdown came out from Kaya's hands. I like how, you know, PP actually just was like, you know, I'm waving the white flag, I'm turning my back, just do it. Just, just knife me already, I know it's coming. But now going into 
the upcoming round. We do have two ultimates on the side of on the side of W Way. We have that Cosmic Divide as well as Lana's Blade Storm as well. However, Fifi could do really well with this Null Command to open up whichever site. Uh, not SRN decides to lean towards. It looks like it's gonna be B this time around, but Lana with that op might actually have not SRN backing off here. Yeah, they heard the op. Now it's the pressure being pulled. Although this, there is a smoke down mid. I, I don't think anybody, I think they're just waiting Aww. here. Lana's gonna get the first pick. Soul not knowing that Lana would have pushed up as far as they did. But right there, it has to be a mid take. That mid aggression, because there's two players on A and a lot of utility surrounding it. So this is probably the best chance here. A lot of mid is being taken here on the side of not SRN, but it's tough. When you don't have control of another choke point, mid is a really hard space to try and get through. And as I say that, they're mm -hmm. just taking that mark control for themselves. Zoe looking to lurk back towards B garage, but might be caught out. Spike down, mid. Oh, but Zoe, Zoe can handle it here. He might just be able to get one, but it's the operator angle for Lana that just, I mean, reigns supreme. I mean, I, Zoe was so close to having the drop on Lana there, actually giving away her location by putting that Killjoy turret up. You know, and, and as I was saying, when you're trying to get that market control, mid control is impeccable on Ascent. And the fact that uh, not SRN was able to push up in that kind of manner um, is huge for them, but they were unable to capitalize off of it because they didn't have B main control with the operator holding that angle and now, Leaning back towards A site, since B hasn't been working out quite as well for not SRN. And WA is actually investing a lot of information utility into clearing out a main here. Lana gonna use the Owl Drone. Or Lana gonna use that Cloud Burst to try and cover herself from the Owl Drone, but gonna have to fall back ultimately either way. Oh, but as the fallback comes, Resora is going to get the one tap on Lana, but Juna has the angle here. The operator is down. Kelly's going to try to make their way forth, and unfortunately, no taken down. I don't know how that worked with 24 health. Juna's in a very dire situation. Couldn't get the one, but a lot of damage done. Worked out in their favor. Oh my goodness. WA Warriors really having it, you know, really having it out for Not Serenity here. But I, I do have to say, Not Serenity's doing a really good job at getting these takes onto site. Oh, the information that PP got, but only 5 HP playing that is so risky. And now the Null Command is going to come out. 3v2, definitely looks like WA has the advantage here, but Yoja is not going to be able to put down the Cosmic Divide. Oh, but that ultimate gets downed. Now it's just Soul in a cheeky corner. They know Soul is there with a jump. Oh, oh no! That was definitely <laughs> a scroll wheel moment, Compers. Oh and now, no! GG's thirteen to six for WA Warriors. They are now two and zero oh in groups here, Gompers, and they're looking really, really good for Pug Team. I mean, I have to agree. WA Warriors, like. I, I mean, knowing Juna, she's, she used to actually play with Man I Love Flogs, but unfortunately, you know, had to let go of her position. But I, I do think, I mean, Juna does have a lot of potential on being, you know, one of, in one of those regular teams. If Juna was still on uh, Man I Love Flogs, I mean, I feel like it would have been the same results. Just a really good team that could really put stuff together. But in general, the whole roster was honestly pretty built. It was, and I do want to commend though, you know, on, on both sides, we had those supporting characters actually getting a lot of assists here. Yoja, 12 mm -hmm. assists of their own, and Jenny, she had eight, and Fifi, you know, 11 to her name as well, and Soul hitting that 11 mark as well. So it, I think that says a lot as far as the, you know, ability for both of these teams to play in conjunction with each other, use their utility to their advantage for their team for the side that they're playing on and actually being able to capitalize off of it um you know having those high assist numbers across the board speaks a lot of volume as to you know the use that these players are actually getting out of the agents that they're picking to be supportive to their team composition but like you said gompers really great show up from both teams overall i think that you know on the side of not srn had they maybe taken, you know, uh, 
maybe a little bit more map control on the defensive side, you know, when they were pushing up a little bit more frequently. They did get punished for it a few times, but there were also often times where they got that information and they denied space to WA. Um, but ultimately, 13 to 6 doesn't lie. WA coming out on top, now 2 and 0 in groups, which means, unfortunately, Defnot SRN is 0 and 2 since they lost their previous group match. And uh, oh, and that's unfortunate because, I mean, they did a really good job. I, I think they definitely could have made it far, unfortunately. Maybe it was the map picks. Maybe it was just, you know, not the day today. But we might see them in, you know, other tournaments. Maybe they'll be Serenity. Maybe they'll definitely not be Serenity. We'll see, you know, maybe in the next maps. But as we continue, we are going to be able to see the third map in Groose. We'll tell you guys what it is later. We'll see you soon.